As always, welcome to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. Now today, uh, we are going to continue on setting up for turn number six, uh, and we are at Pearl Harbor. So we've been looking at Pearl Harbor, figuring out what we're going to do with a lot of these ships now, especially uh, now that... Hello everyone and welcome to Strategy Gaming Dojo where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games and today we're going to continue on with our let's play of Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. Now we are setting up turn 6. Uh, we are on December 13th. Uh, we are now a few days, 5 or 6, I guess 6 days past the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor. Their main task force is somewhere out here, probably to the west of Pearl Harbor. We're not exactly sure, but we do know that they are no longer showing up on any of our scans, any of our recon or otherwise around Pearl Harbor. And therefore, we are going to set up uh, all of the ships that we have in port here at Pearl Harbor. We currently have 116 ships in port, so there are a lot of ships to do things with and uh, we are setting those up. Now this time I promised we would start looking at all of these destroyers that we have here. So one of our weaknesses early in the game is that we do not have a lot of anti-submarine vessels or vessels that can do good anti-submarine work. Uh, and I say we don't have many. Well, we've had a lot of them bottled up here at the port at Pearl Harbor. And so now we need to set them up and you see the Japanese subs here, we need to set them up and get them moving around out here and hopefully scare some of these Japanese subs away, maybe you know blow some up, depth charge them. Uh, and so we need to get that going. Hey David, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Um, and so let's go and look at exactly what we've got here that's active. Now we do have several ships that are under repair, including several destroyers. Uh, we've got those in the shipyard because they are fairly light in tonnage. We do, you know, we're up to 89, or uh, I'm sorry, 82,900 out of a potential 100,000 where, where we're still operating efficiently there. Um, and so we've got some destroyers there, but we have a lot here that are active, they're ready to go, they can do something. Now we have different classes of these. Uh, we have the Bagley class, okay. I Let's see if we can find something different. We have the Mayhan class, and so the Mayhan class and the Bagley class both have, uh, move at 35 knots max speed, all right. Uh, but uh, the Mayhan does not have as good of endurance uh, they might be better for a little more close-in anti-sub work where these guys with better endurance might be better to escort, you know, some transports, escort other ships going back and forth to Pearl Harbor or just off the West Coast, you know, leading them out into the Pacific. Uh, then we have uh, more. We have even more. So now we've got the Selfridge down here. That's got 34 knots. Uh, let's that's the Porter class, okay. And you can see the game's grouped them. And so we've got 34 knots here, max speed, 7,500 endurance. And you can kind of tell, obviously, this, the Farragut, is going to be a different class. Uh, these all have the same endurance and same speed. And those are the Farragut class, okay. And we've got a bunch of different varieties here to be sure. We have even more down here, 3,500 endurance. Now these guys are really the in close, let's you know just keep around Pearl Harbor. We're probably not gonna be um, able to you know get out very far. 3,500 is not much endurance. They do have a 35 speed. So that's the Allen. It's part of the Samson class. All right, and we have even more, 4625 endurance, 33 speed, the Litchfield, which is part of the Clemson class. So as you see, these destroyers come in a lot of different flavors and varieties, and we'll just have to figure out the best way to utilize them. 
And luckily we have a man named Cole who has put together a spreadsheet and given us some ideas of the best ways to use some of these different classes of destroyers in and around Pearl Harbor. Um, and so uh, before we get into the destroyers though, I did want to set up something else really fast. Uh, so just a slight detour here. And that's because when I was looking over the spreadsheet, I did find this interesting and I remembered from you know, uh, years past having looked at this spreadsheet that we also have a lot of uh, support ships here. So if we go down past the destroyers and past the PT boats, uh, we've got some destroyer mine layers, a lot of them actually. We've got minesweeper destroyers and quite a few of those as well. Uh, we've got these uh, minesweepers themselves and they all have a little ASW. We'll have to set up our local mine sweeping here at Hawaii. Now I'm not going to do that online. You guys at this point get it. You know, you you kind of at every port that matters, you have a local mine sweeper, maybe two. Uh, but then we have some tenders out here. We have a submarine tender, the Peleus. We've got uh, these destroyer tenders here. Okay, so they would help rearm and get a destroyer ready to go when it comes back into port. Um, we've got the Tangier, which is a aircraft tender. We've got a couple of those. Um, auxiliary, another destroyer aircraft tender. So we have got a lot of support ships here. Uh, here's a repair ship, the Medusa. We also have uh, more auxiliary, just, you know, your miscellaneous auxiliary. And we have a couple of oilers. And so <laughs> there, there are a lot of ships here. Uh, so we're going to create some support units. Uh, some of these are going to stay here at Pearl Harbor. We will need them uh, potentially. Uh, David's asking, is the spreadsheet in the public domain? It is, David. If you go to my basic tutorial number one, way back, I think it was the second video I ever made was tutorial number one for this game. I have links underneath there, and you can go to the spread. Uh, you can go to the to the page on the Matrix website uh, where Cole has uh, posted this and kept it updated, and you can uh, download it there. So, or if you just want to go to Matrix's site and go to the War in the Pacific uh, forum, it's uh, it's clipped right up at the top. So you can find it there, and, uh, you know, he goes into some more explanation, and people have questions for him there. So if you, you know, if you want to read through that, you can do that as well. Um, all right, so we have these two ACMs here at Pearl. We're going to turn those orange. They are always going to be our ACM or mine kind of tending mine repair uh, ships that are here at Pearl Harbor. We always like to have at least one at a major port, uh, two all the better. We want to make sure that these mines, our defensive mines here at Pearl, are well maintained, that they don't degrade. And so we've got the buttress and the planter that uh, will be here at Pearl, and when you do this again, and I know we've talked about this in the past, but if you're kind of new to it, we've got the buttress and the planter here. You don't do anything. You just leave them uh, here at anchor in the port, and you don't have to force them, or force them, well, okay, force them into a task force uh, to do this function. They automatically do it. As a matter of fact, when you bring up Pearl Harbor, You'll see here, defensive mines, 347, and two ACM present. This is letting you know uh, right up here, that's how important it is. The game has a special little column here that tells you exactly how many um, of these uh, mine tenders, I guess you would say, or tending ships that you have. Uh, so moving down, we have this A.D. Dobson. Um, Let's go find it. I guess all of our tenders have been sorted down this way. Well, we're supposed to have the Dobson. There it is. Or the Dobbin. Okay, the Dobbin. It is part of the Dobbin class. It is a, a destroyer tender, auxiliary destroyer tender. Now, Cole, and this is what I found interesting and made me think, oh, we, we should probably talk about this uh, during the live stream today. And that is, Cole says later, 
so after uh, the Japanese task force has left Pearl, create a support task force and send uh, a mix of support ships to Samoa, which, okay, Fiji, and Nomaya. So Samoa would be Suva. Uh, so Suva, Fiji, and Nomaya. Okay, great. Uh, and so we're going to go through some of these support ships, some of these tenders, and we're going to put together three task forces, one heading down to Fiji, one heading over to Suva, and one heading over to Nomaya. Now, you know, I, I have tried to cover tenders to some degree. Uh, there's only so much you can do when you're doing a basic tutorial because there's a lot to cover, but also, if you don't really understand the game itself, it's not going to do you any good to have me talk about tenders for 30 minutes. Um, but essentially, all tenders are are floating shops or floating gas stations, floating rearmament shops. Uh, they are ships that contain all of the items necessary, and they generally tell you in their name what they're there to rearm, resupply. You know, in the case of oilers, they're there to refuel. They're, I always call them just floating gas stations. Uh, that's re or diesel stations probably is more accurate here, uh, but that's what these tenders, quote unquote tenders, are. They're support ships. They go out there, and uh, you know, for instance, we're going to take these oilers, we're going to fill them up with fuel, and we're going to go put them at kind of strategic locations. So if we end up with ships that are low on fuel or you know can't get to their destination, hopefully we have an oiler close. That oil oiler can go over, and you know I kind of almost in a way hate that it's called an oiler because it's really fuel. It's it's not it's not like they're going to be trying to put oil in the you know fuel tank uh, on the ship. Um, oilers carry fuel generally. I mean they can carry oil, right? Uh, but the way we're going to use them is to load them up with fuel and put them at strategic locations, or at least a few of them, so that if we do have ships that run out of fuel, have a problem, maybe they had to avoid the Japanese and they don't have enough uh, endurance to get where we need them to go, the oiler can go meet them, okay? And so that's really what you're trying to do with these support ships. It's the same thing with these destroyer tenders. Let's say we cannot get these destroyers back, or I say these, you know, some destroyer out there cannot get all the way back to Pearl Harbor, or we just don't want it to, but there's no other nice big port to rearm and get itself uh, set back up the way it should be, then, you know, it can go where the a destroyer tender is, and it can do it from there. It's like having a floating port resupply um, wherever you pick you want it. All right, and so we're going to take the Dobbin. Let's just go ahead and form a task force, and we're going to call these uh, support. Yep, we're going to call these support task forces, and we're going to find the Dobbin, I hope. There it is. All right, great. You'll see this has got an incredible endurance, uh, 20. It's got a, a little bit of AA. We'll see that the cargo is already filled up, although I'll show you here in a minute. We'll make sure that it, the cargo is filled up. Um, it's got some gun. You see gun here? Okay, that's great. Uh, so when you get to these tenders, it starts to show you a little bit more of what they actually are carrying. It breaks it out a little bit more. So we're going to look at the Dobbin. Now we have others of these ADs. We have AD Regal and AD Whitney. We will be making, well, not with the Whitney, but we will be making uh, a task force with the Regal here in a minute. So we've got this uh, Dobbin destroyer tender. Okay, great. Uh, and then we've got the AEs, the Mauna Loa. We'll put that in here. Uh, we're going to take an AE along with this. And we'll go through what each one of these are after we set this up. So we've got the Mauna Loa. That's an AE. All right. And then we'll go down here a little bit. We've got... Uh... There we go. We've got some ARs, so a repair ship like the Medusa. 
uh, we want to kind of get that out of here. We don't really need this at Pearl Harbor, right? Um, if something is coming to Pearl Harbor to get repaired, that's what the shipyards or the pier side is for at Pearl Harbor. This Medusa, this repair ship, can actually go out to, let's say, Suva. I'm going to send this one probably to Suva or Nomaya or down to Tahiti or to Fiji. And this can do repair where we don't have a repair facility. And that's what they're really good for. Uh, same with the submarine tender, like the Pellis. There's just no reason to have this at Pearl Harbor. The Pearl Harbor, the the uh, port there does all of the functions of these things. These things are made to go out and do these functions where you don't have anything else. Uh, so then an AV, the Curtis, okay. Let's see if we can find that. I see the AVs here. I don't see the Curtis. I'm just missing it. All right, these are airplane tenders. We'll just uh, put the Tangier in there. That's fine, so that we've got an AV. We're really just trying to make a nice mix here of different types um, and then send it on its way. So we've still got these left. What else might we need? AVP? Uh, sure, let's do the Swan. So we've got an AV and an AVP. Again, I'll talk about this in just a minute. Uh, so I think that's good. I think that's good for this support task force. It's got a little bit of everything. And now you've got this you know, floating submarine, repair, uh, you know, airplane tender. So we'll go through each one. Submarine tender, destroyer tender, uh, aircraft tender, aircraft tender patrol, Medusa, which is a repair ship, uh, and the Moana Loa, which is an ammunition ship. Okay, now let's dock this and let's replenish the task force from port. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, we're all the way full. So this has what it needs. It's got everything. You can always do that. You can always dock and hit replenish, or you can, if you go down here, see load tenders on this list. So every tender that's in port here, we can load up. So we 13 ships loaded here at port. So now all of our tenders are loaded up and ready to go. Okay, great. Um, and you see that here as well. Now it with tenders, they will always show you. Hmm. Now that's interesting. If they are already in this task force, question well now i'm gonna have to disband it let's disband this really quickly and let's go back and hit load tenders on the on the this list and see if they have got to be not in a task force to be loaded i'd never thought about that and yes that was correct so now those tenders have been loaded up i thought they were already loaded because they already had uh you know some of them already had supply and whatnot but now you see they are the tenders are ready to go so let's go back. Let's make that task force again. Uh, support, support, support. There we go. We've got support. Um, and we'll go back in here and try to remember what we had. We had the Medusa. I know that. We had the Pellis. We had the Tangier. We had the Dobbin. Um, we had one of these AVDs. Uh, that does not have a good... You know what? I'm not going to put one of these AVDs in. They don't have good enough endurance. These all have plenty of endurance to go wherever we want them to go. Uh, we had the Mauna Loa in there. I know that. And I think that's about it. Did we have the Antares? Uh, sure. Let's do the Antares. That's got a nice... Uh, let's now put support. And let's go to Suva. All right, so these guys are all loaded up. These tenders, now you see 100%, 100%. The repair ship uh, does not, you know, it's not using any capacity per se. Of course, it's got things loaded on it, uh, but it's not really using any capacity. Now, just looking at the speeds, I'd probably prefer the Antares and the Dobbin, you know, not be with these other ships because they are a little bit faster, but ultimately these support ships, they're just going to kind of get there when they get there. It'll be nice to have 
and I think we're gonna you know put these at Suva so let's jump down to where Suva is and there it is let's click there Suva is usually my citadel in the middle of the ocean I try to build it up as much as possible and we are gonna set the home port to Suva now you see, of course, we're not going to be taking a very a good route there. It's trying to go straight there, so we'll have to put in waypoints. And I think for this, I'll show you kind of my traditional waypoints out of Hawaii, which will be back here. So it comes back and out. That's waypoint one. Then we'll go to waypoint, well, that would be crazy. Then we'll go to waypoint two, just south of Malden. So, you know, later on, hopefully we can cut this corner and go through this corridor here because we'll have Christmas all built up with all kinds of planes flying all kinds of recon uh, subs and destroyers out here but we do not have that yet so we're gonna take that a little bit to the east of Malden and Starbuck Island out here maybe stop for a coffee and yeah this is perfect and then it just it comes right around the corner and down the the row the long row here and up to Suba and that will be great. Now, I'm just gonna do one of those. We're not gonna sit here and uh, do all three. I will also be sending a very similar task force to Nomaya, and uh, not Pago. We're not gonna do it at Pago. We're gonna do it at Tahiti down here, I think. Uh, question that. You know, sometimes I like to have one at Christmas Island as well. Well, we'll eventually have enough to have one, you know, kind of these floating bases, uh, I guess, really, at Christmas. Uh, we'll have one there. There's really no reason to have one at Pago and Suva. I mean, they're close enough. It doesn't really matter that much. We're going to do one at Nomaya, and I think I will go do... Uh, one at Tahiti. I like to have one at Tahiti. So, Cole is saying Samoa, Fiji, and Nomaya. Same idea. Okay, so anyway, I will do that offline though. Uh, you get the idea. And this is how I, uh, that's not exactly how I like to come out of here. It's staying in shallow water. Sorry, I've got my OCD just kicked in. Let's set this waypoint one actually back over here so it doesn't want to like go through this shallow water here I just feel like that makes it a real sub target uh, let's go straight this way straight down and around and on our way to Suva okay great perfect um let's now look at these destroyers let's go down here and just talk about what Cole thinks we should do with the different classes of them now he's got for the Allen, the Aylwin, the Bagley, the Blue, and the Case, uh, no action, okay? And no action even, you know, once the, um, once the Japanese have left. One thing I think I will do uh, with this task force is put one of our destroyers along with it, and we'll just send that destroyer, uh, this one, these guys, 35 speed, uh, almost 8,000 endurance. I think there are top endurance here. So I think I'll just send one destroyer with them. That gives them a little ASW. I think the Craven. Uh, hold on. Oh, the Craven's in I got it. Craven's in a task force. My bad. Okay, I was like, why did that thing turn yellow? Uh, confuse me momentarily. All right, we'll send one of these with the better endurance, like the Bagley, along with, uh, let's see, okay, well, I can't go see this, you know, its information until I put it in there. All right, so now the Bagley's in here. It's now the flagship of this task force. Uh, let's go check out the Bagley. It's got an anti-sub of two, anti-aircraft of 130. Okay, uh, fair enough. It's got a really nice speed, of course, uh, but most importantly, it's got this 8,000 endurance. So we'll send it with the support task force and that uh, will help give it some ASW. And when it gets down to Suva, we can then run ASW down there with it as well, because we really are probably gonna be sending 
even more down that way. I mean, we've got some destroyers that are already falling back from the Philippines that we can use out there. I now question whether I should maybe even send two, but I don't think I'll send two with each because remember, we're going to Nomaya and Fiji or out to uh, Tahiti as well. And so I'll probably send a destroyer with each of those and then have one run anti-sub at Nomaya and then bring that other destroyer up to run anti-sub at Pago. Okay, uh, honestly, I had not thought of that before this episode. <laughs> that all just kind of rolled off my head. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, no, Bayard got caught by the moderator again. Bayard, uh, those those racy pictures that you're trying to put up, just we don't play that on this channel. I, I, I don't need the subs that bad, my friend. No, I'm just kidding you. Uh, Bayard is going to have to learn to start, you know, cutting up some of these comments. Uh, he's He's got a lot of thoughts and uh, just going to have to put them into separate ones. That's kind of funny. Uh, how you doing, Bayard? Good to see you. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Bayard saying in his game... Uh, the Kido Butai, so the main Japanese task force, that's what they were called, uh, is near Port Moresby, and that always sends a shiver up your spine, uh, for sure. Okay, let's uh, get off of that and get back to our destroyers. And as we go down, so he's got a lot of these listed as no action. Uh, we're obviously going to get them out and get moving around, and the number one consideration in my mind anyway, and I'm gonna turn off all ships for now and just put destroyers out here. And so we see all the destroyers that we have. My main consideration is gonna be endurance. If they have a really nice endurance, like this 8,000 here, I would probably like them running full missions either from the uh, west coast to Pearl Harbor, or I would like them to get down there into the Pacific where you need you know, uh, larger endurances to get from place to place, I'd like to get them down there and have them start operating. Now, something else we will do a eventually is come get these uh, destroyers that are with our carriers because we're going to be getting new destroyers that are better than these guys. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. We're not going to, we'll just leave these destroyers alone for now. Uh, the same goes for, uh, I believe is the Saratoga out here. And you see, you know, it's got some destroyers with it, not a lot, uh, but it's got some. So the first thing I like to do when I'm doing this and setting this up is look at my worst destroyers. And you say, start with the worst. Why would you do that? So the Chu and the Schley, all right, we're gonna put them in an ASW anti-submarine there it is asw combat I'm having a hard time seeing today uh we'll go all the way down here. where are you okay well we got to get off all ships and we'll just bring up our dds again and we've got the ward oh we had it we had an oh my gosh darn it i hate when i do that uh yeah gotta click off in a task force gosh darn it um all right who was the ward with? It's probably, it had to be with here, I would imagine. Or was it here? Now it's in its own. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, this was already running anti-sub, I do believe. Or it will be. Well, let's just transfer another ship in here. Um, not in a task force. I like when I make, you know, a mistake. I'd like you guys to believe that that was on purpose so I could just show you, hey, that's okay. Now we'll just add uh, the chew. Let's say, let's add the chew in with that. Okay. And then we'll do one with the Schley and the Allen doing the same thing, which is what? So these are our crappiest destroyers. They are only a two. They've only got a 3,500 endurance. You know, they've got okay AA, uh, I mean, for a destroyer, we're talking relatively speaking here, right? Um, and so let's go ahead and what are we going to do? Let's set a patrol zone. Now, you can screw around with this patrol around target if you want. And, you know, the this and these destroyers with the low endurance, the lower speed, no radar, I'm going to, you know, try to use them as much as I can right around here. 
all right? And so you can click on this and see if it gives you a different or a decent patrol zone. Uh, you know, if you don't want, what in the world? Okay, there we go. Uh, it's not the worst patrol zone I've ever seen in the world, but uh, to be honest with you, I just always set these myself and people say, oh, well, you know, doesn't that take longer? I find that it really doesn't. Oh, let's get our uh, ranges, our ship ranges on here. Yeah, we don't want the error. And what I try to do is kind of use what we've got here as a, a key. Um, and so I think for these guys, I want these guys to be in close. So I'll do one there. Uh, we're going to get 87 hexes worth of work. And I'll show you what I do. So let's do the other one. It's also deep sea here. Let's do that. And then let's make... Okay, so one, two, three... One, two, three. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to do this one here, not on the base yet. The ship will go back to Pearl Harbor when it needs fuel. Okay, it's going to know, the game's going to know. So this is going to allow us to do f almost five full revolutions of this uh, patrol pattern. And also, I really don't, when I set them up myself, I don't do linger that much. I, I like them moving, especially destroyers. They're fast. Um, and I like them just, you know, zip, 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 you know, around and around and around. Why we would have dest destroyers just sitting around, I guess I've never really gotten. Um, and I do either set these max react to two or three. That's why I was counting. So if we're here and something gets, uh, you know, sensed here, one, two, three, it will react to it if we know about it. If we're down here all the way to the end and it senses something here, you know, one, two, three, we'll go react to it. So you're kind of covering a little bit of everything, all right? And so now we've got one group to the west, one group of destroyers. Now let's go find those other crappy destroyers, all right? Um, and let's do some more ASW combat. As Bayard and I was... Uh, we're talking about last time i prefer to have let's make sure this time i do not pick ones that are already in a task force um there we go done oh that reminds me we've got to go name this uh, as pearl north uh, northwest okay uh, now we're just going to do a really quick patrol zone, set patrol zone, set boundary one. Let's do this like here. And then let's count out seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, kind of in here. And let's just have it go to there. Okay, seven. And let's set boundary three, kind of right here in the middle. So it's just going to be to the northwest. Great. This is perfect. We've got these two guys set up. Excellent. Um, let's make sure their max react is set to three. Great. Okay. Uh, now let's go find... I think we're out of the really bad ones. Uh, we do have the Lich Field here, which does not have much endurance. And we've got a bunch of these 5750s. So we're going to use all of these up to where we get to the Phelps, because once we get to the Phelps, these get to be better ships uh, here, all right? So let's do the Letchfield. We'll just do this one by itself, uh, and then we'll put all the 5750s together, uh, and we'll just kind of have this one really hang close to Pearl. Uh, the Letchfield, where are you? There it is, the Letchfield. Okay, done. And then we'll just call this one ASW Pearl. Great, and maybe we'll just have this one stick really close to the islands. When I talk like that, I feel like I sound like Bob Ross. You know, we've got a pretty little uh, anti-sub uh, destroyer here. So we'll just have this one really ring the islands here. We'll uh, have it come back around over here so it kind of goes around the island. And then we'll uh, have part three go there. Great. And again, I do not have them come back and refuel and linger one day every time. I guess I don't really get that. 
you know, I want them out there doing it as long as they can. And when they get low on fuel, the game automatically brings starts bringing them back to their home port. Uh, all of their home ports are going to be Pearl Harbor here. So this is really just, uh, this is not really Pearl. Let's just say ASW Hawaii because it's really moving around all the islands here. Great. All right. And we've got that patrol zone set set there. Now that does remind me that, uh, oh, what am I doing? There we go. Back. Oh, uh, did we name this one properly? Pearl Harbor. I don't really like that name. Let's call this ASW Pearl West. Okay. Great. Now let's go get some of those 5750s here. Let's form a new task force. ASW. Okay. And, you know, we'll just pick two. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as they're not in another task force. Uh, these actually have decent AA as well. Still only two on the ASW, uh, but that's fine. Uh, so we'll call this ASW North. All right. It's going to actually be a little northeast, but that's fine. Uh, set patrol zone. We have the one going like here, so let's have this one go, let's say from where the sub is to, you know, approximately seven over here. We'll just call it there. That's fine. Sorry, I haven't been looking over at the comments. What's going on? 1942. You're way ahead of me, Bayard. Uh, hopefully you're not like, my God, you fool. Why are you doing it that way? Um, so let's go here. Back, back. Okay, that all looks good. Great. Now, I will tell you, Bayard, I have beaten the Japanese by early 1943 before. Uh, oh, thanks, David. Reaction. That's why. Now, normally I always go back and check these, uh, but you uh, bring up a great point. Let's make sure we have our max react set. Very good for this one. I may just do two because it's going to be set in close to the island. All right. Great. I'm going to set up some more of these. Um, I was just looking over, making sure I still had you guys. I was concentrating so much on these destroyers. Uh, we, yeah, let's, uh, let's set all of these up. Um, I love setting up ASW patrols. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. That's one of my favorite things in the game. I'm not. I'm not even kidding about that. Uh, there's just something so satisfying about actually getting a, a sub. So let's make this one ASW South, uh, Pearl Southwest. Great. Um, let's make sure we've got it. React. We'll just do that right at the start. And let's go set a patrol zone here. So we're going to do boundary one. Uh, now we've got the one going kind of here, but we can overlap because this is such an important place. So let's go here. Some of these I probably should send a little further. Actually, let's since we're overlapping here, let's actually send this one, you know, a little further out. That's right, David. Only if they catch something is is all of this work satisfying. I would agree with that. Uh, yeah, let's make this one go a little bit further. It's got the better endurance, so, you know, 143 hexes that it can cover before it has to refuel. So we'll just do it uh, this way. As a matter of fact, uh, we'll kind of have this be our far out one. So we'll make that three. So it's going to go, going to go like this out here. Great, we've already got our reaction set. Um, excellent. Uh, we should probably do one that's a little longer range here, and then all the rest we need to get out this way um, to make sure that as our ships are coming in from the west coast, the Japanese don't slip around us here and start blowing things up. How many more of these do we have? Uh, four. Well, we may use the 60, a uh, few of the 6500s, not all of them. I don't want to get too crazy here well shoot we've only got four left hmm that's fine we're going to use some of the 6500s it's just so important out here that that's fine and then the rest we're probably just going to send back to the west coast and we'll figure out what to do with them there uh as we 
you know, as we break up these carrier task forces, as they come into Pearl uh, and replace them with some of our new destroyers, we'll then take those ships and we'll send, uh, I say the kind of the older destroyers that are right now with the carriers. Um, and then we'll send those down to Pago, Christmas maybe, we'll give one to Christmas, we'll give one. Uh, now we also have mine layers, these uh, destroyer mine layers that can go down there and do the same kind of function. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's not like you just have the, these destroyers here. You have destroyers that do other things, uh, like these DMSs. Uh, they can go as well and do a, uh, ASW. As you see, I mean, there are two. They're no different than the regular destroyers, uh, so they can also do that work. All right, so let's do the Monahan and the Ale one, and we're going to call this uh, ASW... Pearl, uh, you know, Northwest 2. And we'll just send this one a little further out. Okay. I'll get the max reactant 3. Let's get a patrol zone going here. And let's go 1. So we'll send these guys out here a little further. Let's say right here. And let's go set boundary 2. And Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. We'll go out here by the French frigate shoal. I don't know why it's called that. Maybe somebody that's been to Hawaii could tell me. Uh, then we'll just bring, you know, for its three, we'll bring it here. All right, so that's, you know, 28 hexes. We'll get uh, not quite six revolutions there. Uh, so we've got the React set. Okay, great. Now let's go get the last of these 5750s. And we're going to call this Northeast. SW. Why do I keep having a hard time finding that? Um, all right. Great. 5750. Now, also in close, we will keep uh, those one, probably just one, destroyer mine uh, ships right around here doing mine sweeping. Not local mine sweeping. But actual, you know, getting out and mine sweeping outside the port, uh, we will be doing one of those, uh, maybe two of those, actually. And so they will also be running ASW for us. So let's do ASW, uh, Pearl, Northeast. Okay. And we'll set their patrol zone. This one's, you know, this is going to be our little closer in one, I guess. How much cut? We don't really have a lot of cover. We only have the one kind of coming up here. So let's do here. Yes, Bayard, it's very satisfying when you see the swarm, you know, when that reaction has been triggered and everything starts heading towards where the Japanese subs may be. Um, it really does look like a swarm. Uh, boundary three, uh, we'll have that come back. Eh, let's say to here, that's fine. Great. Uh, okay, let's make sure we've got our max react. We did not set that first this time. So let's do that as a three. All right, we're really moving through some of these. Uh, the Cummings, the K, okay. So we've got enough to do, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna do two more. I'm gonna do dead east and then southeast. Uh, and then I'll keep one of those 6,500s and you know maybe do something else with it. We'll see, um, but let's do East now with the Reed and the Tucker. Okay. ASW Pearl East. I actually wouldn't mind having, uh, you know, more here on the East side of the island. Uh, but for right now, it looks like the Japanese have been mainly to the West of Pearl. They will eventually get over there to the East. Uh, and that's, you know, nothing, <laughs> nothing worse than seeing a Japanese sub pop up like right here as you're bringing in a massive, you know, uh, tanker task force to Pearl. So you really got to get that ASW out there. Um, set patrol zone, set boundary one. So this one's going to be our dead east one. Uh, dead is maybe not the proper uh, wording I want to use there. But we certainly hope it's not dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, let's do this one six, a little tighter. 
uh, do not refuel, and then now we're going to do set boundary three. We'll just do it right there. All right, make sure we've got our react set, and we do. All right, and then one final one. Now, again, one final when I say one final one. I will also be doing some of these other destroyer type ships, uh, like the DMSs that have AS. You see all of these things. Uh, destroyer, this is what? Destroyer Mind Layer, uh, Destroyer Mind Sweeper. Uh, they all have ASW as well, as do these AMs. So just the Mind Sweepers themselves have some, um, and the PCs. So, I mean, we've got even more here. Uh, and I'll go through the spreadsheet and kind of figure out what I want to do, but I really wanted to get the destroyer set up this time. ASW Pearl South, uh, Southeast. Okay. We'll set up the patrol zone. Well, actually, just so I don't forget, let's set the max react to three. Uh, again, I will go through all of these generally and make sure. Oh, I went back too far. There we go. Uh, and make sure that they have their max react set every time. Uh, let's push these guys a little further out. So let's go here for one. Let's go here for two. And we'll go, you know, let's say, uh, right up here to Lahaina for three. So it's mainly going to just be running right here. Uh, that's great. We've got that set. Um, what is it? F, F6, whoops, uh, that shows you all of your, I can't remember, F5 or F6 that shows you all of your patrol zones. Uh, do one of you guys know what, it, what shows you all of your patrol zones? I always forget what that, uh, hotkey is. I guess I could go up to the hotkeys. What does show us all of our hotkeys? No, it's two, three, four. I will find this. Five, no. There we go, six. Six is the hotkey. Um, uh, Bayard says, yeah, those DD-like ships, right? So the destroyer-like ships that kind of have different uh, tasks or functions uh, are all Clemson or Wix class. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so here are the patrol zones. Uh, that we have set up right now. Uh, I'm not loving this gap. So that's why you always kind of want to go look at these. I just couldn't remember off the top of my head. So it is six is the hotkey. We'll show you this. We have pretty good coverage over here. Now I actually kind of wonder why these aren't... I'll have to go look at those offline. Why I'm showing here and here. That's definitely not what I wanted. Um, Interesting. Now, don't forget, we do have some other destroyers out here. I thought right here, I think. Let's. You may remember early on, we had some uh, destroyer type vessels that were out here. I think they were DMSs. Now, we may have sent them someplace else, but as the main Japanese task force was up in here and moving away, we had some that were running right here. I may have brought those already back into port. Maybe that's why I have so many DMSs there. I'll look at that uh, separately. Okay, so let's go back and look at each one of these. We've got Max React 3. Uh, and when we get over here to the west side of the island, I'm going to go back and really look at these because I didn't like the gaps that I saw. And so let's try this again. All right, we get the basic idea of what this is doing. It's going boom, boom, boom and then coming back here eventually. All right, so one, two, three. Uh, maybe it's better if we do this as one. Now let's do two. And now let's do three. Let's see if we get a little better coverage off of that. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a little bit, I would rather it be right there. Um, am I gonna go change it? Sure I am. If I wasn't that way, I wouldn't play this game. Um, fine, you know, this is that the end of the world now. 
I just I have a certain way I like to do them. Uh, okay, so you know that looks good to me. Let's see, Max React three. This is the one that's down here. This one also looked a little screwy to me. So let's do a one. As a matter of fact, let's have it go here first. So we'll go here for one, and then we'll go two. Okay, and then we'll go three like here that's fine uh, that looks good okay I like that so perfect okay actually yeah that's fine it's uh, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into e checks I always tell you guys don't go into e checks uh, yeah, I agree, Bayard. I kind of felt like that was a visual bug, but I'm just going back and resetting some of these on the west side just to make sure because it didn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, we had a good uh, patrol zone set up there, but it was showing this gap here, and I just wanted to make sure there's not one, especially considering that's really where uh, the Japanese subs were showing them right now. Um, it's these guys. Maybe it's these guys that are the problem. Let's do this one more time just to make sure. Uh, no, nah, that looks good, but let's maybe get them a little further out. Let's uh, let's do one extra hex here. And I don't think we need them to go all the way here. This is more of our true west coverage. So let's do one, two, and then three. Okay, that should be fine. I'm not going to mess with those uh, anymore. At least not while you guys are on the line. Uh, so. Maybe I might mess with them a bit more uh, on my own. All right, so we have all of that done. Now we have these guys here. Uh, I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna keep the Konyang ham here. And actually I'm gonna keep these three here. And why is that? I'm gonna use those to ferry things in and out of Pearl Harbor directly. As a matter of fact, I might keep the Jarvis as well. Just so I have four uh, one that's got an 8,000, if I want to send it south, uh, a 6,500, that's fine. The rest of these, I'm going to split into uh, three task forces. Uh, and you say, why? Why is he doing that? Why three? Uh, I'll show you. Um, and so, okay, this is fine. We've got the 8,000s. Uh, the blue and the helm, done. We are going to go, and we're going to label these ASW... San Fran. All right. Okay. We're going to set them off on their way to San Francisco to come back here and help with ASW for the time being. Okay. Um, I, the reason I want the 8000s back there is I may have some of them come all the way back to Pearl. Uh, now, as you see, it's only 56, so we really maybe should keep the 8,000s here with the good speed. You know what? Let's disband that. Let's go back. Let's rethink this for a second. Um, let's actually keep the four we keep here. Let's have those all be the 8,000s, uh, but we will send two. Okay. Well, I guess I could have kept that task force alive there. Uh, that's fine. Surface combat. Uh, we will take two of them, the blue and the helm, done. We will say ASW San Fran, that's fine. We'll have the uh, 8,000 ones go to San Fran. A little further journey, there we go. They will move to San Francisco. Uh, and then we will set a home port here of San Francisco, great. And then we are going to go back. We will form a new task force, surface combat, done. Um, we are gonna take the two, let's say 7,500s, all right? And we will call this ASWLA San Diego, okay? Um, and then we're gonna take them and send them to LA San Diego. Well, I'm going to port at LA and then we can figure out what we want to do from there. Great. And then we'll take the final two we're sending back 
Oh, let's do the uh, React at 2 for these. Uh, we don't really, you know, we're not caring if they get into any kind of conflict. Uh, hope, you know, if they encounter anything out here, it's likely to be a Japanese sub, so that would be fine. And then, finally, we're going to take the two with the lowest, or the coining ham. Uh, where did those 7250s go? Is that what I just put in here? The 7500s, the 8000s, okay. Uh, let's then take one of these. We'll just take one of those. Um, ASW, combat, fine. Uh, let's take one of the 8000s. This looks good. The Mugford, fine. And let's send that to uh, Seattle, Vancouver. All right, so we'll actually send it to port in Victoria. Great. And we will call that, uh, let's set our max react to two, and we will call that ASW uh, Victoria. Great. All right. So I think with that, I'm probably going to wrap up the episode. Um, you know, I, I wanted to deal with all of these destroyers, kind of show you how to set up a destroyer net in and around Hawaii there. Uh, very important, as always, as you can imagine. Uh, and so after that, I think uh, we've, we've done that. Now we have more of the net to build, and I will do that offline, uh, but I've got to... Uh, get back to other things, such as doing the rest of the war in the East tutorial, and I will have that out today, and the final episode of the Field of Glory 2 uh, tutorial, I will also have that drop today. And so a lot of content will be hitting. If you do like this, or you like any of the videos, give me a like, a comment, a follow, a sub, or whatever you want to do. I do always appreciate it. For Strategy Gaming Dojo, thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time.